I did a previous video, um, a no battery solar system video using a DC to DC step down converter. In that video I got a comment saying why not just use an MPPT charge controller, basically the same thing. For, uh, I can use the solar panels and directly use the load from it without a battery. So yeah, I thought that was interesting. I'd, and today we're going to put this to the test. We're going to cover today. The first question is, will they run without a battery? The second question is, how much will it power? And another question which I'm interested in seeing is, will the app still work? The Victron Energy app. And um, at the end of the video, I'll um, see if I'd recommend this over the DC to DC converter. So this one will be a very interesting one. So stick around. All right, guys, got me solar panel here, 34 volts. We're plugging it in. Let's see how we go. Got the blue light just flashed on then. I don't know if you've seen that. No, that's, that's a good sign, I suppose. No red light. Looks like we're going to yellow absorption. All right, let's test it out. Let's see if we can power something. The output is 14.2 uh, volts, holding steady. So, yeah, it's looking good so far. We're actually charging, guys. This is amazing. Charging this power pack up, putting 15 watts, 16 watts almost into this power pack here. Direct from this Victron MPPT with no battery. Just straight solar to the load. I'm impressed by this. Alright, let's try this kettle out. I'll fill this up with water. We'll plug it in. Red lights on, so that's a good sign already. And 126 watt. How good's that? Still holding the 14 volts pretty steadily too. Yeah, this is really, really cool. How good's that, guys? Once again, if you're liking these videos, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, um, comment below, any suggestions, um, yeah, I, I read every comment, I like your comments, I, this idea here is basically from a comment from my last video, so yeah, any suggestions, any requests of videos that you'd like me to do within my budget and time, I'll uh, look at them and definitely consider it and do it for you. So I uh, appreciate it guys Thank you. Cheers Okay, we know it can easily power this kettle Let's check out this app and see if it's going to connect to the app Well, it's come up Which is good and look at that, works, pulling 30.6 volts at the moment, so still early in the morning, 132 watts, so solar, 30 volts, battery, 14.2 volts, 132 watts, and we're getting 128 watts on the watt meter here, so reasonably close. So there's four watts difference between the two. State exhaustion. So this this works. I don't know if it will track the history or not, but oh, it looks like it has. Ten watt hours. I might keep this running for a little bit longer and see if it tracks the history. Awesome stuff. All right, this kettle's almost boiling now here and on the app here we've got 
30 watt hours so it does actually track um, it does have a history of what is the loads powering right we're going to wrap this video up now so the first question we covered will it run absolutely yes it does it's not even getting warm or anything to the touch which is awesome that's fantastic the second question was how much will it power we know that it can easily power 128 watts um, this is rated to 15 watts so I'm sure we can push that to close to 200 watts if you'd like unfortunately I don't have anything at the moment that can go much higher than what we've got here now um, next question is will the app still work and yes it does it does work and it actually still has a history of what's coming out of this unit which is awesome absolutely awesome the last question is do I recommend an MPPT Victron especially over a DC converter for setting up a no battery solar system um, yeah it depends these obviously a lot more to buy these uh, 20 amp one equivalent is probably about two hundred dollars where this is about twenty five twenty six dollars so it's up to you guys really um, if you are looking actually looking at upgrading down the track then I'd probably recommend the MPPT just so yeah once you do eventually upgrade then to your batteries then you're pretty much ready to go but if you just want something cheap where you can plug in just a, a couple cheap solar panels and be able to charge some phones and power packs you know run a kettle or whatever then and not worry too much about getting a battery in the future then yeah this has its place for the price yeah I thought this is very interesting I hope you guys did find some interest out of this some value in um, setting up your solar systems it works awesome we'll see you on the next one